In the southern Accra plains of Ghana, John Abate is farming vegetables. These are low-lying plains along the Volta River in Ada. In the same region, patients cultivate peppers and onions. For these farmers, reliance on rainfall to cultivate their crops comes at a great cost. It is becoming increasingly clear that with the unstable nature of the climate, one cannot depend on rain-fed agriculture. It can fail you at any time. John's family all live from the proceeds of his smallholder farming activities, processing the leftovers of his tomato crops and selling the rest. Part of the reason why farmers are poor um, especially in areas where the dry season is very critical is because they produce only during the rainy season. The dry season they are virtually um, unemployed I would say. As climate variability increases and the global economic crisis deepens, hunger and malnutrition are likely to get worse. Food prices have been increasing since 2000 because of increasing demand on global grain stockpiles and the rising oil prices making it more expensive to transport food and agricultural inputs. As the population is increasing um, and as the land is becoming scarcer, there is a need for intensification, for intensifying and improving the productivity of agriculture to support the burgeoning uh, human population. Ghana is endowed with sufficient land and water resources. But only about 38% of agricultural land in Ghana is cultivated. Of the farm land, only 3 to 5% manage water. But there is potential for vast tracts all over the country to be commercially farmed using small pumps and dams. This obvious potential makes it a destination for farm outsourcing for large-scale commercial farming. But this needs to be developed. Water Management Institute uh, with the headquarters in um, Colombo, have been working with FAO and others, have been working on these agricultural water management solutions. And they've come out and critically talking a lot about these small, small scale private irrigation systems, basically using pumps and so on. In response to the need to move away from rain fed agriculture, Many farmers like John are employing pumps to bring water to their farms from the nearby river. Pumping schemes are becoming the, uh, the cheapest way of providing irrigable land. A group of four women and men can get a pump, cost about 400 Ghana cities, and it can irrigate up to six hectares. And I can say, so far, um, a plot of irrigable land up north is the best asset somebody can get to get out of poverty. Along the Volta, we can have several of these water, surface water pumping from the Volta. So there is so much potential to extract this water to irrigate both left and the right banks of the lower Volta area. In the Ada and Keta district, irrigation is done using groundwater, initially from hand dug wells and reservoirs. It's a fresh water which is lying on top of the salt water. So with just one meter deep of well, you can get fresh water and water your crops.
Je ne sais pas si tu as dit que tu as dit que tu as dit que tu as dit que One of these uh, uh, tubes is about uh, 100 meters. So it flows through it and then it waters both sides, as it's doing here. So it waters, so you, but you need a certain space so that as this one waters to this side, this one can also water so that you can, you can water the whole land. Many of the farmers who use these pumping machines prefer the electric ones over the petrol versions. It is cheaper. Cheaper, it is uh, more, it is easier to use and uh, it doesn't have much challenges as the diesel or petrol pumping machines. Now with the diesel or petrol pumping machines, particularly the one I was using for my rice business in the early years, they were quite heavy and uh, any time they got spoiled, I had to put them in my car, take it to the mechanic. If the car is not there, the mechanic is not prepared to come here. So if at that, at that point in time, your, your, your crops need uh, water, you can imagine what will happen to the crops. And in fact, they did fail just because of a week when we are not able to give them water. These repair shops provide valuable services and much needed jobs in the area. In talk with the uh, Ministry of Energy so that they can have some additional input into rural electrification. Say that rural electrification should not essentially be to the villages but also to be along the banks of the river with some distance such that anybody who wants to establish an irrigation system can just tap on this main line and use because the use of electric motor pumps are the cheapest way of using energy for irrigation. In Ghana, the farmers are using uh, fuel and also electricity at a commercial rate. You see? So if the government is really keen in, in, in expanding irrigated agriculture, for example, one way is to also think to have a differential uh, tariff for irrigated agriculture. This policy alone can catalyze private investment in irrigated agriculture. Research is continuing to find ways to improve the effectiveness of these private irrigation schemes. One of the things that really improves efficiency from the data we collected is the contact hours they have with extension. So if these extension officers are also trained in irrigation and then they are able to impart on them, then there is a prob like there is there could be an improvement. Because irrigation is intensive and we basically produce perishable crops, vegetables, tomatoes and, and onions and those things. They come at a particular time, and if there's no market, it means the prices go down very drastically. So again, profitability comes, becomes a problem. So we should be able, while we are trying to promote irrigation, we are trying to increase uh, irrigated agriculture and so on, we should be looking at what do we do when the produce increases. The ability to farm all year round creates opportunity for young people to find employment in the agri sector. It also has positive impact on food security. Ada is in the relatively affluent south of Ghana. The north of the country is less endowed. Many farmers in these poorer areas rely on buckets to water their crops. This method is inefficient, laborious and difficult. By applying the more sophisticated water management techniques, farmers in these areas will benefit from the increase in productivity. Irrigation is priority. 
It is only priority when we, real, when we see something very concrete being done in terms of investing. And government should see it as a serious investment.